Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> yeah. Hi, guys. I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today, I'm going to show you another Korean street food recipe. Yes, because you guys want it so bad. Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is Korean street cup chicken. <laughs> When my friends and I were in Korea, my friends had to go to Myeongdong for all this Korean street food heaven place, you know what I mean? So one of their favorite uh, street foods that they had over there was this cup chicken. It's so delicious. It's a simply Korean fried chicken, um, but it's a little bite-sized and has a little rice cake like here and there too, which is delicious and it tastes even better in a little cup. <laughs> so let's get started. First, what you need to do is cut your chicken thigh into bite size. You can use chicken breast but I really highly recommend to use chicken thigh because it's so much juicier meat and you don't have to worry about overcooking. Into the chicken add half teaspoon of salt and same amount of black pepper, one tablespoon of sake rice wine, two cloves of garlic. I just grated my garlic into the chicken using this zester. Same thing to the ginger about half teaspoon. Mix everything together Cover with the plastic wrap and let it marinate in a refrigerator at least 20 minutes to overnight. When chicken is marinated and you're ready to deep fry, then add one third cup of dampira powder. Nowadays, it is so easy to find dampira powder in any and every grocery stores. But if you are wondering how to make dampira powder from scratch, go ahead and watch my dampira recipe video right here and add 3 tablespoons of water into the chicken as well. Give it a good mix with your hand. And now we are going to deep fry them in 350 degrees oil, about 5 to 7 minutes. Be careful when you're dropping the chicken pieces. You need to make sure you're dropping the chicken one piece at a time, otherwise that will just become a big chunk even though you cut it up into the bite size. We are going to double frying this chicken, so at this first process of frying, we will just try to make sure the chicken is all the way cooked through. Don't worry about the outer color yet. I'm going to do the two batches of the chicken because you never want to crowd your deep frying pan ever, okay? Transfer the fried chicken on a baking sheet lined with cooling rag or paper towels. Now, increase your oil temperature to 370 degrees and drop all the fried chicken into the hot oil carefully. Now at this second fry, what we are trying to do is let them nicely golden brown. So it will take about 2 to 4 minutes. Remove from oil and your fried chicken is done. Ta -ta! Oh my goodness. Mm. 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 You can taste taste like a couple of them, but don't do it too much. Then you're gonna end up too much sauce over. Cause my recipe is perfectly like ratio is perfectly the sauce and the chicken and the rice cake and everything. So if you want to taste taste, taste to taste a lot of them, then just double up the recipe, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm going to reduce the oil temperature to 300 degrees and fry 6 ounces of one bite size rice cake. I just bought the regular tteokbokki rice cake and just cut it in half so they are like a little small one bite size. Frying the rice cake 2-3 to three minutes on the low heat and please be careful when you're frying rice cake because it's kind of like dangerous when you like crank up the heat a little more it will like pop like a popcorn but then rice cake is so much bigger than popcorn and you know what I mean it's uh, just be careful okay be careful safety first I don't know what, what, what was this for chicken and the rice cake is fried beautifully now let's make the sauce in a large skillet, combine 2 teaspoons of gochujang, Korean red pepper paste, 1 teaspoon of soy sauce, one and a half tablespoon of strawberry jam. I know it sounds weird, but just trust me and do it so because this is famous Korean fried chicken chain restaurant secret. Just do it, okay? You can use like grape jelly if you want to. Any fruity jelly jam things will work. 2 tablespoons of ketchup, 1.5 tablespoon of Ustersour sour sauce, Usher, Usher sour sauce or Ustersour sour sauce, 
I prefer to use this Japanese Usha sour sauce because I don't know, it's a little more fruitier flavor into it. That's why I really love it. But uh, regular Usha, 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 whatever Usha sour sauce is great. Okay, it's great. Two tablespoons of sugar and quarter cup of water. If you like to, you can add two cloves of garlic chopped and add into the sauce. Um, to be honest, I totally forgot to add garlic when I'm cooking. I added garlic when I was recipe testing, but then it was really good. And then I totally forgot when I was filming. And so I will put on my written recipe, put the garlic on it, but you don't see garlic here. Sorry. Mix all the ingredients together and bring it to simmer over medium heat and simmer until sauce got thickened about 3 to 4 minutes. Toast in the chicken and the rice cake. And finally, 1 tablespoon of sesame seed. and serve it in a little cup or a bowl that looks like a street food takeaway. Last finale, sprinkle with some sesame seeds right on top. And please do not eat this with a fork. To have some respect for the street food, eat with a toothpick or this bamboo skewer. Okay? Okay. 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 Mmm. 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 There's something missing. It's missing garlic. <laughs> it's actually really good. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. When you make this, when you're tasting it, you're gonna make face and sounds like me too. So, if you like my Korean street cup chicken, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Songyeong Longast, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye!